Alright guys, River Tramp Renegade. I've been out here working on the camper and I wanted to take a minute to show you the trailer. Um, I've got the body off of the trailer um, because I'm about to sand it down. Um, I've filled all the holes with uh, putty uh, but I wanted to show you the trailer. So basically this is a custom built trailer. The frame here, the rectangle section is 46 and a half wide by 63 long from here to here and then there's another four feet um, on the tongue so this is basically it it's it's two inch square tubing my friend built it for me um, I drew it up and gave him the specs and basically um, this is it so it's got 2,000 pound timber and axles uh, there's one on each side they're independent suspension this bar here uh, if you can see that that just kind of connects uh, both of them keeps them in line you can you can Opt, you know, opt to use that or not. I'm going to go ahead and leave it in there. Uh, you use it to line it up. You can remove that. I'm just going to keep it in for extra strength. Um, I did put these scissor jacks on here. These are um, from Harbor Freight. They're nothing fancy, but they can level the trailer uh, that way. And then, of course, my tongue. I've got that swivel hitch, and then I've got a uh, swing away. Uh, jack there, but that's really all there is to the trailer um, the bolt pattern on these uh, Axles are just the same as my truck. These are Tacoma wheels and tires um, I don't know what else I could show you here, uh, but there's a hitch in the back a hitch in the front uh, It's just a pretty simple trailer square tubing um, Some of you guys were asking about it uh, If you can see I did drill some holes in the in the sides here. This is where the body is going to mount. I've got some holes here uh, and that just sits on there and bolts together. So I'm going to pull this out. I am going to put a couple more coats of paint on it. Uh, my buddy Evan had his kids paint it and they, they missed some spots. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out in the driveway, maybe out in the yard and spray paint that with some Rust-Oleum spray paint that I have. Uh, but for, that's pretty much it for today. Um, I'm going to try to finish sanding this I won't show you that but when I get started on the uh, poor man's fiberglass that's going to cover that I'll fill you in on that whole process but uh, thanks for watching and y'all have a good one